we're trying Toby Carvery for the very first time. Now this is a place that we've seen on the outskirts of a lot of towns, which is probably why it took us a train, a bus, and about a mile walk to get to a Toby Carvery. Now before we go inside, what do you know about Toby Carvery? From what I understand, it is a Sunday roast restaurant, essentially. I think it's like a buffet, kind of. Oh, okay. But I don't know. In the US, we have a lot of buffets like Golden Corral, Hometown Buffet. They have just kind of like home dinner fix-ins. I think that this is kind of the British equivalent, but we'll find out. We haven't actually been inside yet. <laughs> it is home of the roast. And because we have Carly with us, we found a dog-friendly one with an outdoor patio. It's so fancy in here. I thought it was gonna be like a Golden Corral or a Hometown Buffet, but it's definitely classier than that. There's even a toy machine with the Carvery guy. Is that Toby? I guess that's Toby. Apparently you can upgrade to a king size plate. Hi, can I try a little bit of everything? It looks like they not only have Toby's famous gravy, but they also have vegetarian gravy too. The deal is that you get to have as much veg as you want. Most of the things are like buffet style, like you serve yourself. There are four meats that you can have, and apparently you can have a little bit of everything if you want to, but you can only have meat plate one time. You can go back for as much veg as you want, I guess. So I feel like thinking that, I like loaded up my plate, but this is way more than we're probably gonna eat. And I tried to get a little bit of everything because I want to try everything. It's our first time at Toby Carberry. <laughs> I have to say, inside is very elevated from what I expected it to be. People talk about Toby Carberry kind of being like, like the cheap version of a Sunday roast, but it is very classy in there. Like it's very nice in there. I was thinking it was gonna be like Golden Corral and it is not. It is a much classier experience than Golden Corral. <laughs> it's funny because there are meats under there, under this pile of food. <laughs> They give you the, the meat first and then kind of set you on your way. And yeah, I pretty much buried all my under the <laughs> potatoes and other things. I couldn't even figure out like what everything was. They had gammon, pork, turkey, and beef. And we decided to get a little bit of everything. They also had a whole bunch of things. Like there are potatoes and there's potatoes that have some kind of sauce. There's mashed potatoes. <laughs> there's like every kind of potato you could want. Yeah, there's like roasted potatoes. There's like an au gratin potato. There was mashed potatoes. There was mac and cheese there was some potato that had like sauce on it that was like the roast potatoes but with a it said gravy but oh I'm not sure. was it oh i don't know well we'll find we'll out we'll find out because i got those <laughs> and then there was cauliflower cheese peas carrots Onion. onions and stuffing. i think uh, oh yeah stuffing i do have stuffing down there <laughs> all right dig in what are you starting with oh and of course the yorkshire pudding yeah yorkshire pudding. the thing that makes this different from a christmas dinner at home the mash is nice it's smooth, it's kind of buttery. Yeah, that's that's nice mash. The mac and cheese is pretty good. It's got a little bit of a crafty, like processy situation, but I still like it. Cra oh, like craft macaroni or, and cheese. Sort of, or a Velveeta or something <laughs> okay. like that. Or at home, maybe like a Stouffer's, but it's still pretty good. I accidentally doused mine in gravy, so we'll see how that turns out. Probably fine, honestly. <laughs> I'm, you're probably right, you're probably right. The uh, sliced all gotten potatoes are pretty good. They're in a nice like creamy sauce. It I looked like, like they had sweet potatoes with them too. I think they do. I got a little bit of both and I'm like, oh, I thought this one was just more done, but no, I'm pretty sure it's like a sweet potato or something. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Yeah. The way that this is falling apart makes it almost seem like it's maybe not sweet potato, but squash. I would never have thought to put squash with like an au gratin potato, but it's pretty it good, works. Actually, it's yeah. good, yeah, I really like it. These are pretty good. I'm gonna try my gravy, my gravy macaroni now. <laughs> oh man. When you said Velveeta, you were right. I'm, I'm sure that this is a very like American a more thing. More American thing, yeah. To have Velveeta. A lot of people think that American cheese uh, or cheese in America is just American cheese, like the processed stuff. We do have that, but like we do have real cheese too. However, this mac and cheese tastes like one of our famous processed cheeses, Velveeta. It's, it's good. Honestly, <laughs> I don't hate it. Velveeta is like what you make with mac and cheese, so it works. Yeah. Or macaroni cheese. You don't call it mac and cheese. You call it mac macaroni cheese, I think. Also, my accidental gravy on it. It works. It's pretty good. Nope. You didn't gravy, gravy your Yorkshire pudding. Did he give you two? I took it. Did he oh, yours? He gave me mine, oh, yeah. Oh, there was a little tongs. I took it. Oh, I don't know. you could take two? I didn't mean to take two, but I did. <laughs> oh. I thought it was just one like weird bulby one. Okay. When I walked away, I realized it was... Oh, it is a weird one. Oh. You got like the, the pregnant Yorkshire pudding. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Some cauliflower cheese. Does that have like paprika on it? Looks like it. It's a nice cheese sauce. It almost 
taste like maybe it has a little bit of a mustardy thing in it. Huh. But not heavy, like slight. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's paprika on it. Roast potatoes, pretty good. I feel like- I don't either, know, are these just gravy on them? I don't know. That's all I got were those ones because I just assumed it was gravy. No, it's different. Huh. It is like a gravy, but it's a different gra- it has a different flavor to it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I feel like you guys roast your potatoes better here. Yeah. Well, I mean, as we learned when we were in, was it M&S that we saw goose fat? Yeah. Which is a thing that I just don't think you find in supermarkets in the US. But apparently, a lot of people told us that you roast your potatoes in them, and that's probably why they're better. Probably. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that sauce is on these roasted potatoes, but it is very tasty. Also, I like that they make you work through your veg to get to your your meats. Carly wants to know if she likes Toby Carvery. <laughs> the resounding choice for her is probably yes. She'll eat a carrot if it's doused in gravy. Gravy carrot for the win. Let's get into the meats. I give a little uh, turkey a whirl. That turkey has a nice flavor. I like that. Gotta get a little gravy, a little gravy there. And the beef's pretty tender, has a nice flavor. I like that. It's pretty good. Is that your gammon? It's my gammon. I think we've only had gammon maybe one time. I think it was in Liverpool. I think I had the turkey and the pork mixed up and then I had the pork first and just had the turkey, which I think I prefer the, the pork. I think the pork and the roast beef are my two favorites. That stuffing is interesting looking. But it looks, I mean, I don't know. It looks good. The flavor is good. The texture is a little different than I expected it to be for some reason. It's a little more spongy, I want to say. I don't know, but it's not bad. I don't think I've had a Yorkshire pudding that I didn't like, and that is continuing that tradition. It's pretty tasty. Some people have made fun of the way that we use cutlery as Americans, and all I have to say is that we're trying, okay? It's a pretty good Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, that is a really tasty Yorkshire pudding. Although I agree with Jeremy, there is not a bad Yorkshire pudding that At exists. Least that we've I don't experienced think, yet. yeah. But I think people have told us they're also pretty easy to make. We, we, we made we them. We made them. <laughs> and they turned out pretty well. Yeah, I true. mean, we ate we them wrong. We used to mix, but... Um, we didn't have gravy for them because we didn't really realize we didn't at that point. This is quite tasty, and I can understand why Toby's calls their gravy famous. I mean, who knows if it really is famous about, it, but it is really tasty, and I feel like it shines on the Yorkshire pudding. The turkey's a little dry, which is, to be fair, on par with, like, an American equivalent turkey. of this kind of thing, yeah. Whoops. The pork is really good. The beef looks really good. I don't love the beef. No one the beef for you. That's gonna be a no from me, dog. Yeah, it's just too fatty and like kind of dry and it's not, I, I would say that that's my least favorite thing of this pretty good overall, like quite tasty meal, I would say. I haven't tried the gammon, let me find the gammon. See, I think that's my least favorite, though not bad. I like it. Cause I think the overall thing with Sunday roast is that it is pretty much to us more like a like a Thanksgiving or a Christmas dinner. It's like a very seasonal thing. Whereas I think, not that you guys are eating it like every Sunday, but I think it's just like more commonly accepted year round than like we wouldn't normally have this like all year. Like this would be a very specific once or twice a year thing. Once or twice a year, I'm good with having ham on Christmas. And so the gammon, it fits right in. That was a really long-winded explanation for that. I would say everything is pretty tasty. I just didn't love the beef, but even like the carrots are good, the peas are good, the cabbage is good, the onion's good. I think it's all pretty on par with what you would get at a pub. I mean. It's like a discounted version, okay, but it's like yeah, very yeah. good for what it is. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Carly says, please let me try now. Do you want some turkey? Be gentle. Yep, she liked it. She swallowed it, therefore it's great. I tried, but I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I did a little better, but I still didn't even finish it either. That us skipping breakfast was gonna be a helpful thing, but I think it just meant that by the time we got here, we were really hungry, and so we got a lot of food, and now I can't eat it all, and I kind of feel bad, but it was all pretty good. I mean, I feel like it's not the classiest experience that you can have, but it is definitely nicer than I thought it was gonna be. And for the weekday price of, I think it was, what, like nine, nine pounds. pounds per person? What a deal. It's apparently more on the weekend if you come on the weekend. So come on the week and you can have a feast for nine pounds. What are your thoughts? Do I prefer one at a fancier pub or like gastro pub? Probably. Especially the beef. <laughs> yeah. But also, that would probably be at least five pounds more than that, if not more than that. So yeah, it's not like a bad deal. Some of the better ones that we've had in pubs have been like 25 pounds. That's true. So yeah, like I said, at least another five pounds, if not double what this one costs for a better one. So 
for what we paid, I think it's pretty good still. It's funny because we tried Sunday roast for the very first time um, about like a little over a year ago on our first trip yeah. to the UK in Wells. And I feel like since then we've had so many good experiences that I would equate this to also be a good experience. It's just not quite as uh, like fancy and high end as like a regular Sunday roast, but it's still really good. If you're knocking it, I want to know why, because there's nothing wrong with Toby Carvery. <laughs> if if a Sunday roast is up market, does this make it down market? Mid market? Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, it, it's pretty good overall. I would eat here again. Carly says me too. She liked her meat and gravy carrots. She would like more please. <laughs> While we were eating I was thinking you know the only thing missing from this experience to make it kind of like an American buffet is like a little tiny sticky toffee pudding or something like that that would be like the American equivalent of like a little soft serve ice cream cone. However I guess they actually do have a dessert menu. I don't think we have room for that today though. So if we were to come back to Toby Carvery, which I would not be against, I would like to know what other things uh, outside of like the regular Carvery menu are good. Like, should we try some of the desserts? Also, there's a sign out here saying that breakfast, all you can eat breakfast is six pounds? Yeah. Six pounds for all you can eat breakfast. That's a pretty good deal. So I'm curious if you also like the six pound Toby Carvery breakfast, or if you have a different alternative for like a good cheap breakfast that you suggest. I think overall, Toby Carvery was a, a win for us. Thank you so much to our patrons for supporting our channel. If you are interested in becoming a patron, there's information for Patreon down below. You can have access to our video where we first tried Sunday Roast here in the UK, among other things. Make sure you check out this video where we tried pub food for the very first time. Do you see inside that there's even a Toby Carvery like little toy machine and it has like Toby on it? No. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh. Too bad we don't have any coins or Dang. I'd get a cool toy. <laughs> Do you think they give you a tiny, tiny Yorkshire pudding? Maybe. Toy Yorkshire pudding? <laughs>